the amount of confusion. I know, Laura. Carlos is here. What's up? Hey, uh, look at the boys. Say, what's up? What's up? What's up? What's, what's up? your name, Ocean? Ocean. What's your whole name? Ocean. What's your full name? Ocean. 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 Who's that? Is that Uncle Kendall? Yeah. <gasps> we got Christmas PJs on, guys. <laughs> Uncle Kendall. <gasps> Is that Uncle Kendall? Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. Look at this technology, <laughs> man. I know. Look yeah. at that. Alexa was like, Kendall's going live. I was like, oh, I love that show. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna watch it right now. <laughs> gentle, 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 hey, 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 gentle, gentle. gentle, 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 gentle. gentle. Okay, oh, okay, yeah. okay. <laughs> okay. <That's laughs> <laughs> How are you doing, bro? Hey. We're doing good. We're, you know, Mika's right here. She's just off. She's just off screen, right? Oh, Mika. Yeah, yeah the women like is. to be off screen. Mm -hmm. Oh, hey, hey, hey. What's hey, wrong hey, with uh, me? What's wrong with the women? No, no, no. I'm just there. Just look in the morning, okay, people? Just it. You look great, Lex. Come on. That's that's what I always say. And then this is my other stinker. Oh, there. Look. Hey, hold on. Look at the wicked. Hey, Lex, oh, look. Goodness. They're rolling it. So cute. Hi. Hey, Hi. How are you so tan, bro? Ooh, you look good. Yay. It's, yay. It's, 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 it's well lit in here. That's why. Oh, well, wow, wow. We need to work on that. Yeah. We live on an island. We're supposed to be tan right now. Man, it's been raining, like, off and on for, like, since, wait, for, like, a week. And it's, it's great. But, oh, Ocean, chill out. <laughs> This is our morning. We 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 call it the morning rush. It starts with with Kingston screaming, and then Ocean banging on the door saying "Let me out!" <laughs> and then we come down. the The kitchen explodes because there's food just being everywhere. And then we try and calm everyone down. Ocean wants his tablet so badly every morning, and we say no tablet. Tablet, tablet. And then in about an hour, Kingston will go to sleep, and uh, then it's Ocean's turn to to rule. And <laughs> we get a break. It's the morning rush. What do you guys got planned today? What's gonna What's gonna happen? What are we doing today? Well, you know what's crazy? The 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 beaches are still open here. So yeah, but they're, they not, super, they're not super crowded though. No, it's not no, like no, it's not like Florida. Yeah. Um, you know, we only have about 150 to 200,000 people on the island, so um, it's not it's not too crazy. Um, but amidst all this, it's it's just uh, you know, haven't seen my, haven't seen any of my Maui friends though. Like everyone's like, "Yo, bro, we'll see you later." Yeah, <laughs> they're really small. If there's a lot of people though, we will. Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. If there's no one there, then we'll let the kids. But it's crazy, you know, like. I uh, I went to uh, Walmart the other day just to buy like a five gallon jug, uh -huh. and even here, like everybody's just it, they wiped everything out. Look, I you know I get it. There's a there's a natural fear associated with hoarding and stuff like that. You know you want you want to have everything uh, right. that you need, but uh, we've been assured at least in California that there's no reason to do that. Yeah. So you know. Yeah, you know uh, I, I know it's, it's <laughs> part of it. I, I just it's just it's just part of me now. Yeah. I um I was talking to Lex the other day. I think it's I think yes, all this is so crazy, but it's so I think it's so important. We as a society have become such you know consumers. So we're like we can't go out and consume. What are we gonna do? Like ah ah. ah. But yeah. now but now we have have an opportunity to produce to produce for other people to sit here and and like and and you know like like for us we're just really diving into that family time which um how, how many days are we in right now yeah, that's it's crazy. We, were, we were talking to, i think you know miga and i the only place we've gone is like for a walk around the block um or i went to the grocery store but it's been about a week maybe wow yeah it's and crazy here, here in la we have uh it's for it's till april 19th so you know, I think everyone. I think everyone's doing the the instinctual thing, which is, like, well, let's uh, you know, let's go and like, post and do stuff like this, and then it's like it's only been one week. There's still four, like, pretty much four weeks left. So um, it's you know, it's becoming the new norm. I I I I literally had a had a Zoom call yesterday for something that Lex and I are working on, and they were like, yeah, we're still gonna have the meeting. I was like, all right, and we had like. 15 people all on the zoom call and we were all talking and they were like yeah so this is the new norm this is this is how it's gonna be crazy it felt like 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 the brady bunch you know i was like hey, how you doing hey man <laughs> okay and uh it's, it's just it's kind of it's surreal i i feel like we're dreaming do you ever get yeah. that i'm like is this real life like 
Well, it feels, um, I actually was texting with a friend of mine who used to, who was doing the promoting for when I did Heffron Drive shows in Italy. And he lives in uh, Milan, and he said, honestly, it feels like a movie, a real life yeah. movie. I can't imagine them over there. Yeah. I can't even imagine. Yeah. Well, I was checking in with him. He, and he's, he's great. It's uh, my buddy Roberto Indiano. He's a great guy. But, you know, he was like, we're just, uh, we're hunkering down, you know, we're taking it easy. All right. We're, um, What's up? Well, uh, <laughs> Mika's giving like, messages to read. To what did I do? You, I like, dude, Mika, Mika, the producer over here. Coffee she is a me. great producer. Produced you have a laugh, by you have a laugh Mika. Track? Oh, yeah. She's got the laugh tracks and everything. Check this out. Shut up. Really? Yeah. Fantastic. <laughs> Holy moly. <laughs> That is okay. So, so uh, producer, what are the questions? Come on, let's 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 keep the people entertained. All right. Well, actually, our next segment, which you guys could do together, uh -huh. oh. is to let the audience ask you guys questions, and you can answer. Oh, <laughs> dun, 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 dun. oh what's up, guys? <laughs> yeah, let's see if anyone's got any questions. Feel free to type them. We're gonna have to wait a second. Cue big time rush sound effect. Cue bitter, yeah, yeah. You, 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 you. <laughs> BTR versus 1D, who would win? We are older. So I'm just going to say, and, and I've seen all of us in the gym. I haven't seen them in the gym, so I'm going to go with us. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Okay, someone said, someone, hold on, no, no, no. they're just going too fast. Wow, you guys are old. Thanks. <laughs> I appreciate it. Um, gosh, Mika's killing it. <laughs> okay, why did you guys never tour in Belgium? Well, I, you know, to be honest, I didn't really know... Uh, we had no say in where we went back in the day. Yeah, I mean, we would. It was like, probably here's a plane ticket. Do that. Yeah, here's a plane ticket. Wait, actually, dude, are Belgian waffles really good? Is that they like are. a thing? I, you know, do you remember when I took that trip? I kind of went on a Europe trip and just went alone. Yes. Remember that? Yes. I, I thought you were crazy, but you, but you made it back. I made it back, um, and I actually went to Belgium by myself, and and almost got in a fight. Oh no. So this is a. Do you remember? I told you that story, right? No, but. To keep in mind, Kendall is not a fighter. I'm not a fighter. Yeah, me neither. Me and you were not the fighters. So I was, I was going, I, I checked into my hotel, and this is typically what I would do, is I'd check in my hotel, and then I'd find, like, a cool place to eat or something. And then I, I didn't realize that typical lunch hours don't, aren't as easy to go to a restaurant in Europe, you know, because they're usually taking their break for the midday okay. break. Uh, but anyway, so I checked in the hotel. It was getting kind of late, and I was like, well, Belgium makes great beer. So I'm going to find, like, a, a bar, like, a really nice place that has, like, a whole array. Of, it was, like, World of Beer or something like that, some bar. So I go, and I, I have a beer, and I'm walking back, and there's, like, this, I'm, like, just, it was kind of a dark alleyway, and I hear, like, <laughs> <laughs> but it was, like, from an underground sort of discotheque kind of thing. No, no, no. Like, did you try and get in? Well, no, I walk, well, I walk over to it. Because I'm like, what is that? And I go up to the door, and there, it's been a long time now since this happened, but I just wanted to see what was going on. And the guy was like, five, five euro, five euro cover. And I was like, okay. Um, I was like, well, I'm good. I just wanted to see what's going on. And then this guy, really small guy, no offense to anybody, um, comes taking. up, he, he goes, he like looks at me, and he like makes a face. And I was like, what? And then he like walks from the doorway over to me, like totally unprovoked. And, like, basically is saying, like, you think you're a big guy or you want to, like, fight me or something like that. And I was like, no, <laughs> no, I don't want to do anything. And he, and he, like, he pushes me. I'm totally, I'm telling you, this is completely unprovoked. I didn't say anything to him. I didn't even give him a face. I think I made eye contact with him, and he was just really drunk and wanted to fight, you know? Oh, no. He, he pushes me, and I'm like, I'm like, get ready. I'm like, okay, now that he pushed me, I'm like, all right, Kendall, what are you going to do? You know, and I was like thinking, so I kind of, I bucked up a little bit and then I looked down the street and there were some police like crossing the block and I went, 
I was like, you want to, I was like, you want to come with me and talk to the police? And I pointed over and the guy looks at the police and I was like, come on, let's go. Let's, let's go talk to the police. And he was like, ah, and walked his way to the bar. And the, the, wow. the, uh, the bouncers are looking at me like, sorry, you know, like can't do it. They weren't even going to help you. No, they weren't going to help, but oh. it wouldn't have been like, I'm not like tooting my own horn or anything, but it would have been okay. <laughs> Like, it would have been okay, because I don't even know what was going on with this dude, but he was drunk enough that I could have, like, just lightly pushed him and yeah, yeah. fallen over. But I was like, I don't, I'm in a country. I, I don't, you don't get in fights, bro. Yeah, That's I was like, I don't live here. I'm not going to fight somebody. Words. So I just, I Use saw the police. Words. I said, let's go talk to the cops. Let's go do it. And, and he was oh like. Yeah. You're very brave. I don't think I could ever do a solo trip like that. Well, well it, now. Now I physically uh, I I can't now because, you can't because I have uh, have a fan <laughs> yeah I love them but holy moly sometimes traveling with them it is the craziest dude I mean one of these days one of these days can ocean can ocean take a shot yeah ocean hey, ocean want to take a shot actually I can show you what I can show you what this kid likes to do hey do you want to show uncle how you jump off the top yeah go for it I made that I know you made that but I oh didn't get it on camera God. here we go. Oh, she's gonna show you guys. All right, let's see it. Move this, please move this. Oh yeah, move this. Sorry, we have to make it safe. We have to make it safe. Okay, okay. There we go. Okay, go for it, dude. Okay. Okay. Hold on. Okay. Ready? Count to three. Ready? One. Oh! <laughs> Literally. That's what we do. Wow. Oh, right. Do you want to come say hi? Just this guys, kid's guys. this kid's full on walking, by the way. Uh, that's on Mika and I were talking about that. That's unbelievable. But I was thinking, Alexa, I remember when you were pregnant with Ocean, and you were telling me you were like, my kids will be walking earlier than oh, yeah. any other kids. Yeah, but it was cool for like a week, and then and then I, I and then I just started like knocking him down a little bit, like with my foot. I'd be like, no, oh, you're not walking yet. It's so much better because it gives me time to do stuff. It's not He's not always wanting to be in my arms, although he is a lot needier than Ocean. <laughs> this is so great, guys. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, by the way, Kendall, oh, Kendall, I see that you use your uh, Kids' Choice Awards uh, uh, as as bookshelf holders. And you know what? I'm not going to lie. I've been struggling to figure out what I should do with this. Are and this no, I have them all, uh, like, stored away. Yeah, but he, listen, he, he puts them in between books. You can, I can, you can see them right here. Yeah, I, I saw it in a post that you did once, and I went, that's kind of smart, man. I mean, you know. Only kind of smart, man. No, 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 it's really smart, really smart. Well, you know, the main issue with that, Carlos, is that there's so many that you, <laughs> there's, there's so many that you can only put so oh, many books my, in between them. From like Latin America. That's the issue. Hey, you know what? <laughs> They're all. Listen, I'm proud of them. You, you know what, Spy Kid, do you have a Kid's Choice Award? I did. No, I'm you so don't. Hold on. I, I'm going to. Yeah, yeah, we have a U.S. Kids Choice Award. Get out of here. Who do you think you are? Yeah, we got one. Let me show you what Alexa got. And, and, and she's always like, well, do you have one of these? I'm like, get out of here. Alexa got one of the popcorns. Uh, I know, right? That's nice. I thought that was pretty cool. I, hey, you want to talk about awards? Here, let me show you this one I got. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, what is happening? Wait, where is it? Oh. Okay, so there's a couple that you might remember. Okay. There's, there's one you might remember. Is, right, is, remember is it the little, the little Indian? Yes, I still have that one. What is it called? The auto. The auto. Uh, yeah, the auto. Uh, the Bravo. The Bravo. Golden Come Siga, the on. Come on. 2011. Big time rush. Dude, that. Now here's that a really is... here's a really special one. This is in honor of Italy. What? Whoa, that is cool. What is that? So this is the uh, Ischia Music Award, Kendall Schmidt, Igli Hefron Drive. That's phenomenal. The Ischia Award. Yes, yeah, see, that is something that like I would put it, I put it in my house and just be like, yeah, it's a cool art piece. It's 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 actually it's very it's very abstract. I love it. I love it. It's very beachy too. It would fit here on Maui. It would actually fit there. Like, you can have it. I'll, I'll I'll, you know what? You. I'll send you my address, bro. Okay. Yeah, I'll forward you it. Just take the little plaque off or, like, put a piece of tape and put cards yeah. on it. Okay. Do you know what Alexa pulled out the other day? And, listen, I don't know if there's any Spy Kids fans out there, but I thought this was pretty cool. This was legit 
her lunchbox in the movie. Mika is a big Spy Kids. Look, it I says, love it says Carmen Cortez on it. I can't know if you can uh, see it. But look at that. I know, right? I was like, babe, you've been holding out. This is like, this is great. Our, our kids are going to be like, may I take that to school? Carlos, somebody just said, do you guys still sing? Let's do a harmony together real quick. Ready? Okay. One, two, three. Hey. I think we're killing it. I think we're Pretty killing good. it. Hey, you know what? Speaking of singing, I just I just set up. Hold on, let me see. If I can flip this, right? No. Yeah, there we go. I just finished setting up my little studio area. Hey, look at that! You know, and and, and then we got the couch and the guitars, and and Kingston over there. But yeah, dude. So uh, you know, when you're ready to come to Maui, you know, we can we can write some songs, like whether it's for you know just you for Hefron Drive or whatever, or just for some fun songs, man. I don't need I don't need any reason for Maui. Hi, baby. Yeah, except, oh. Hi. Is it nap time for you? Is it nap time? Almost. He's been up for a long time. What he got up on? at six. <laughs> <laughs> oh, someone said best vocals ever. Thank you so much. La la la. Exactly. <laughs> la. No, Kendall and I just did a harmony together. I heard. It was, like, it was absolutely terrible. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what? What are y'all's plans for today? Well, we're just gonna, I mean, I've been spending some time in the studio and so I'll just probably do that and, Dope. you know. Makes bro, well, if you have anything that you need me to like, listen to for you so I can give you my honest opinion, oh my bro. I'm always, I'm always, you did have some yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm always available to be, uh, you know, like I can bounce back off of you, you know. I'm, I'm, can you make a critical yeah, we'll make a virtual, yeah, we'll make a virtual critic. song. We'll collaborate over the internet. Bro, I think we should. Listen, you make tracks. I got a microphone. Is this always what I'm missing? Yeah, it just broke. Oh, I, I make my tracks. Kid. Yeah, bro. You make awesome tracks. Why don't I you make like beats, dude? Sorry, beat. Wait, is there a difference? No, no, there's no difference. <laughs> <laughs> there's no you know, difference. I, I'm not going to lie. I like set everything up yesterday. And I was like, okay, cool. Let me open Logic. Let me, let, let me try and like, learn something. And I was like, what the heck? So then I got like a ding, ding, ding. And I was like, this is terrible. I was not inspired at all. I just, I just gave up, dude. Well, day one, day one. I believe in you. I know you're gonna make it happen. <laughs> I'll do something. I'll send you some stuff. I'll send you some things that would, I think, will get your uh, inspiration going. Actually, please, bro. Listen, I'll just throw my voice on it, and then you throw your voice on it. No, but I mean even, just... I mean even plugins that'll get you inspired to, to be making stuff. Whoa, yeah. that's just what I'm talking about. What do you, what do you uh, do songs on? On Logic. On Logic, yeah. yeah. I tried Reason one time a long time ago. So somebody got me on Reason. It was a little confusing. So I just got Logic and I, I feel like um, I'm not I'm not willing to at this moment like I jump guess maybe now is probably a good time to <laughs> You got time <laughs> something right? else. You got time. <laughs> yeah, I might do that actually. I have Ableton and on my computer. Oh, wait. So I might do that. Yeah. Who was the guy who we wrote with who like did it on a pen? Was it Toby? Uh, yeah, Toby used a, uh, Toby used like a, a like a, one of those pen, what are those things called? Um, I don't know, but he, but he like drew the, like all the notes. I was like, who are you? Yeah, he was crazy. Yeah. Um, crazy talented. One more question for you, because I got to go deal with these kids, but I'm curious. What was your experience uh, recording Big Time Rush? Not, not, not the TV show. Favorite song recording of any Big Time Rush song? Favorite, um, like one of my, well, I got a couple favorite sessions, I guess. One would be when we worked with Ryan Tedder, because that was really cool. In his studio, in his, his, his awesome underground studio. underground studio. That was yeah, so I mean, cool. that was just one of the most beautiful studios ever. Um, yeah. Also, uh, I mean, that one was great. Always loved working with Matt Squire. Always loved. Squire, um, yeah. Um, Working with Toby, you know, Toby was kind of, I mean, he was kind of a mad genius. So that was Dude, always something. I never got to work with him like that, but you did. And didn't he give you a ride in, in his Tesla? No, he, no, he was like, I got to go. I'm getting a massage. And he took <laughs> off, he took off and zoomed down the road in his Tesla Roadster. And the Roadster, oh, my God, like, the dude. I didn't even leave yet. I was still at his house. And he's like, okay, bye. And then boom, you know, it was gone. My kind of dude. Yeah. Oh yeah. my gosh, I love it. I love it. Hey, you know, I shipped, uh, what happened? Is he on TikTok? Oh, are you on TikTok, bro? Alexa and I just got on TikTok. <laughs> oh yeah, you are on TikTok. I yes, am, I are. do have the TikTok, yeah. 
Bro, okay. Mika, Mika, do yeah. the double push up challenge. Oh my gosh. Push up challenge. Oh, yeah. No, no, no. I just got asked to do it. I'm did you do see it. what Alexa did? She's like, let's do a double push up challenge. I'm like, I'm like get on my back and we'll do oh, a double push up yeah. challenge. It's like, I was I'll be doing a push up and, and you're doing a push up. I was and then trying she farts to in my face. What was happening? And then Kendall was like, oh, she farted in his face. Yeah. Ridiculous. It like, I can't, I was like, uh, Honestly, though, it wasn't. It wasn't very. It, it wasn't very loud. I was kind of disappointed. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. It was not loud because I was yeah. so like, disturbed. <laughs> you called that a fart? Okay. Oh no, 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 no. I listen. No, listen. That was a lady too. That was a lady too. Lady <laughs> too. <laughs> but yo, bro, we should do some TikToks. All right. And like, I don't really. I'm still learning how it works. But apparently, there are like dances that we can like do and like like. I don't know. It's. I feel like it's a whole nother world that I've that I didn't know existed. Look, and I never thought I never thought I'd ever hear you say, "Let's, dude, let's do some TikToks together." I've been waiting for this moment for my entire. Get out of here! You've been you've been waiting. You've been waiting, I've been waiting for this. I've been waiting for this moment. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, hold on. What's your your Kendall underscore Schmidt, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay, and then ours is at Pena Vega. So if 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 you guys out there have TikTok. Go follow us. Yeah. We're going to do something. I don't know what it's going to be, but I, like, saw this guy. and like, oh, people are, like, doing these dances. They're, like, bam. I don't even know. There's this one the, guy. The, the editing is, like, I, dude, it's, there's this one guy who does this, like, dance thing and, like, moves. I, I watch him, and I'm, like, dude, he looks so cool. I was, like, there's no way I'm going to look that cool doing that. There's no yeah, way. I'm, not, I'm a little nervous about the dancing part, so we'll see. Yeah, but you know what? You and me could do it together. We should make one up. Bro, all right. We should we should write a twenty second. You should write because I don't do that. Clearly, you should write a, a, a twenty second beat. Add add some vocals in there, like whatever it is, and then we'll create some dance moves to it, and then we'll start a challenge. That's what we got to do. All right, I'm gonna try. To, I'm gonna try to do that just like you made those noises. I'm gonna try to. I'm putting you on the spot right now. <laughs> And then we'll do some dancing, and then we'll do some like cool, bam, whatever it is, and then we'll challenge everybody. And we'll go, we'll do the whoa or something like that. Yes, yeah, yeah. Throw it up and then catch it. Throw it up. Whatever. That's how you do it. I Bro, we're old. so no, old. Are saying you guys we're are so old. old. We don't even know I what these really things are, dude. We're so old. What the heck? Hey, are you 30 yet? No. No. November 2nd. It's a, it's a crazy. Oh my gosh! I'm gonna be 31 before you're th you're even 30. Oh yeah, yeah, you're old. Holy moly! I am so old. Yeah. Oh, someone said, "OMG, Kendall, no." <laughs> what? Like, man? You have a problem with the whoa? Come on, whoa! <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah. It's a throw. Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh! Got it. <laughs> Dude, I mean, I... okay. Hold on. Serious question though. TikTok and Vine. Is it the same thing? Uh, I think it's, it's, it's essentially the same thing, but I think TikTok is more like... Advanced. People, yeah, more advanced with the editing stuff. I mean, I see right. people... But, but it's, 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 it's crazy. Yeah, it's I, don't, I don't know how people do it, but I guess, um, again, I don't know that I'm willing to learn it. Yeah, you boomers. Someone just called us boomers. We're not boomers. <laughs> no, 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 no. Old grandparents. Yeah. I love this and hate this. Aw, oh, thank you. We're, really old, we're older millennials. <laughs> Oh, man. Gosh. I feel like, I listen, I am 30, but I'm 16 and 15 at heart. I just, yes, you I are. just have to do it. I have to do adult things, and I have kids, and it's really weird. Look, I don't feel like 29. In fact, Mika and I were talking about the other day. I said, we were watching a TV show, and they talked about someone on the show turning 30. And I, was, I looked over, and I was like, oh. I was like, do you know I'm going to be 30 this year? And she goes, no. I was like, well, yeah. Someone just said that we were old but gold. Old but gold. Woo! I think this right. is the longest uh, Instagram live I've ever done in my life. Yep. Yep. <laughs> it's a, we're approaching an hour, so I'll let you go. Bro, we'll this was time. fun. Listen, whenever you want to bring me on your show again, I'm happy to do it. You know, we're, we're all here in the quarantines. <laughs> Love you, bro. <laughs> Work on that beat for TikTok, bro. I'm All serious. right, we'll work on that beat and work on that track. Yo. I'll see you later, bro. All right, see you, dog. See ya. See you, Mika. Peace out. Bye, Bye guys. Keep it lit. Bye, Bye, guys. Well, that was something. Um, everybody, uh, I think we're approaching an hour here. 
So this is going to be it for today's Coffee with Ken.